The Congress is uh, questioning the government's move. This after the government said that the collegium system is going to be revamped. In fact, uh, Justice Kaju has also put forward six pointed questions to the former CGS. Let's get in more perspective from Bilal, who's been tracking uh, that story. In fact, Fali Nariman, the eminent jurist, is also reacting. In fact, that quote on your television screens, where he's in fact asking that uh, when you ask that whether this outburst is fair or not, he says uh, that obviously there are two sides to it and it is not. It is also suspected as aiming for cheap publicity and is unbecoming of a dignitary who once sat as a judge in the Supreme Court of India. That is the quote uh, coming in from the eminent jurist Fali Nariman. Let's also get in more details from Bilal who's been tracking the story. In fact, he's outside uh, uh, Justice Kaju's residence right now. Bilal, you know, the story is developing by the moment, but obviously it's raising very, very serious questions on the, you know, uh, the connection that we have between the politicians, the judiciary, but also on the fact that why has Justice Kaju you know, chosen to remain silent for 10 long years. And obviously, he will have to suspect and tell us that why is the timing chosen only now? Yes, of course, multiple layers in terms of how the debate is really evolving. On one hand, of course, is the proceedings in the parliament where there are questions being raised by AIA, DMK. There, is, there has been um, some kind of commotion on the floor of the House. Uh, but at the same time, we've had uh, comments coming in from leaders from the Congress party questioning this, this supposed move from the BJP where they're saying that they would be reviewing the collegium itself. Now, now what's happening right now at, uh, at the end of uh, Justice Kaju is that he continues to stand by his position. In fact, so much so that after initial report, reports coming in uh, from a, res uh, a response. What's happened is he's written another blog where he's raising some more questions and questioning uh, uh, justice himself. Now, what's happening at this point is, let's understand, he's saying point by point, he's saying that uh, one, he wants to know whether uh, whether he wants, uh, there is an acknowledgement for the letter that he had uh, written initially questioning the motives of that uh, additional judge in, in uh, the state of Tamil Nadu. Now, beyond that, he really goes on to really build his case and towards the end, he's trying to justify the timing as well. He says that, that there, he has been off late writing about, about Chennai and there were some queries over social media on whether he should be uh, sharing some of his experiences while he was um, uh, 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 deputed there. Now what's really happening is that you have many other voices now questioning the timing of this and besides that obviously you have uh, voices like Fali Nariman uh, questioning Justice Kaju's intention. So for the time being, Justice Kaju continues to stand his ground and we'll have to really see in the course of the day whether he will be uh, shifting his position.